Hello, and welcome back to my complete playthrough of Ultima 4, Quest of the Avatar. We're pretty close to where we left off. We can see the island where we were going to get the, the Mandrake up in the top right corner there. Uh, but I got us down here once I got the 50 that I wanted and healed us all up, well, somewhat, and, and got us all cured. That's the important thing. So you'll see we're all in good health now, and... Um, you know, I, I had some. I, I had to spend some healing spells uh, over the course of this thing because um, Jana and Dupree kept getting um, below a hundred. Jana makes a lot of sense, but for some reason Dupree was was below uh, that as well, and uh, so I had to um, heal them a couple times. But I got it. I, I got to the point where I had exactly fifty mandrakes and i had over 50 of the nightshade so i was ready to do to do a little um creation of or mixing some spells so actually i want to, what i want to do is i want to look at the notes and we'll talk about the various spells so i made some gate travel spells um i made five of those i think yes i made five of those those spells for the gate travel and um, we're going to try one soon. I'm not going to try it right now because I have another plan for today, which I will get to in good time, in due time. Um, so I made five of the gate travel spells. And then um, I thought about the ice ball, but I, I, I was reading over the description of this. And I'm not certain. I mean, maybe I should make, I did not make any, but maybe I should make one and just try it out. And see how it is. If it's like especially great. It sounded like the same thing as, as a fireball. But with ice. It might be interesting to see what happens with uh, demons with those. But we, we kill demons pretty easily now anyway. So I don't know. Um, I made uh, five jinx spells. And we're going to try this sometime soon. Uh, definitely next time we have to fight a bunch of um, uh, bandits. And hopefully they won't be able to steal our stuff. I also am interested in trying it when um, we're back in the dungeons and the gremlins come after us. So made some of those. I made uh, two of the kill spells, which I wasn't initially going to do. But I was looking at the description of the kill spell. This is from the spell book. Um, you know, and I had the note on there that it's evil. Um and that's because it says it's the favorite of evil wizards, and its use is prohibited by most teachers of the mystic arts. So I'm thinking, oh, I, you know, am I going to get dinged if I use this spell? So I won't use it. Yeah, but it says, nevertheless, when faced with a foe of singular strength and truly evil nature, the wise magician will prepare a mixture of the highly toxic nightshade and mercurial black pearl and speak the true name of the enemy and cast it toward the foe. Um you know, all the tar targets vital or so she'll cease to function for the space of seven heartbeats. This is usually fatal, although some beings will survive a single kill. So that was a possibility. I, I, I thought that sounded like probably a good last resort for, and I'm thinking mainly for the abyss. So I made two of them. It's not something I'm going to use a lot because quite frankly, it's, it's overkill for most of the things that we face. I mean, really we can, we can manage just about anything right now, so it's not a big deal. Uh, I made some negate spells. I made three of these, and I, I, these are um, these will negate magic, so they can't cast magic at you. And um, my my thought for these are primarily is going to be in use against Balrons to stop their making us sleep. Um, I made two tremor spells, and this is supposed to do what the name says. Um, you know, make the ground, make the ground shake, and in places the ground will open up and swallow people, and a lot of the, um, a lot of the people will, will flee in terror. So, I'm curious how good it is. I'm thinking next time we have a large group of something, even if it's orcs, just to see what happens. I'm gonna try it out, just because I'm I'm interested. And then we have the view spell. Uh, which is supposed to give us a viewpoint somehow of this. That's what I did. I, I, I actually might try just before we get going on the main plan for today. In fact, maybe let's go ahead and do that. Let's cast view and just see what it gives us. So, 
so I'm going to cast the view spell. Okay, so it gets us a map. So it's kind of worthless here. Um, I think that white dot down here, I'm pretty sure, is Trinsic. Yeah, that's about where Trinsic would be. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it'd be better in places like maybe like over uh, by the abyss and stuff. Uh, where there's stuff be or stuff behind mountains. This probably would have been really handy when I was trying to find Cove. But yeah, so I, I think that can be useful. I think that can be useful. All right. So now then, what are we going to be about today? So, so you, uh, you may recall a few episodes back, I tried. Somebody has, had put a comment in there and said, said and said that I should use the wheel on the ship because it'll help with the um the protection uh the armor on the ship and i tried to use it nothing happened i was like oh well you know may maybe it's a different version of the game or something i don't know i just let it go well i don't know for some reason this week i i googled that it, well i actually went to the wiki um and searched for it and there is a wheel that we can get that will vastly um, improve the chances or improve the armor. And we have to go to Serpent's Hold and find a guy named Lasshorn, who we probably talked to before. But we're going to find him and ask him about this. He is, well, I won't give you the lore because I think we'll learn the lore from him. But uh, one of the notes that was on the wiki page said that it's very handy when you're tackling the cove full of pirates at the island of the abyss. So this might be something we actually need because that I've, going through that pirate's cove, as I called it, where all those pirate ships were, I'm thinking that might be the entryway to the abyss because I don't think there was any place else around that island, if I remember correctly. So we might need this. This might be something that's very, very necessary. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to track that down. We need to go to Serpent's Hold anyway because the Lord there has one of the syllables of that word and uh, the word of passage. And so we need to go and get that and as well. So we're going we're gonna to do both of those things. So we're going to get back in this ship. I guess I'll, I'll quickly um, bring up the map and... Just so, so we're here at Fens of the Dead, and we're just going to go down to the Serpent Castle. So it should be a fairly quick sail, I think. we got to go a little bit east and then south. Uh, should be an easy-peasy time to go. But let's board our ship. And actually, be, I'm sorry. Did I? I don't know if we hold up. We, we need to. Oh, there we go. There we go. I mean, I could have, well, I don't, all, you, all we get for him is, is XP. I actually need to move, um, I want to move Jana up. I know she's very squishy, but I want to get her in a position where, either that or I need to get her some, oh, firing intrinsic. Good thing I have unlimited ammo <laughs> for the cannons. All right, we're heading south, south, south. South, south, go a little east, and these should be the right islands. These are the Isle of Deeds, I think. One of these is the Isle of Deeds, where Serpent's Hold is. What's our location? Serpent's Hold is PB and JC, so I need to go a little bit more east. Oh, world. Water spout. Interesting. Oh, come on. On land. I don't really want to get hit by a water spout. That would probably kill us, and I'd be upset. Come on. Is it following us? I'm very paranoid right now. I think I got to go over here, and then up here. No, this is not the right spot. I'm at P.I. And H, so I need to go further because I gotta go to J, H I J. So that's gonna be further down, right? 
I think. Locate. Oh, too far. I went, I went too far. I'm going the wrong way. Longitude is... i got to get back up into the piece. i got to get back up to this. Yeah, latitude's across the top, so I'm going this. I need to go this way. And here's another. This is it, I think. I think, I think, I think, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. I thought it was like in a, in a bay. PK and JF. We're really close. It's got to be on this island. Um... Right, because that's PB and JC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't feel like fussing with you when I get off the... Yeah, I think it's like right there. Boom. And I don't think I really want to deal with you, Skelly, either. There we go. Exit the ship. Let's hold up in camp. We still need to get up to full health for most people. Uh, so hopefully this will get us some health, and then we'll go in and see what we can find on this. All right, so we improved. Joffrey's up to full health. Katrina's up to full health. Jana already was. And Julia's at the full health. All right, good. That's much better. Let's enter Serpent's Hold. All right, so I don't think this is... Yeah, the guy is... He's not a beggar, Roderick, and that's not his name. So the name is Lass, Lasshorn, L-A-S-S-O-R-M. And then we need to go see the, the Lord as well. So I guess whatever we find first will be Armory Healing. I don't think it's going to be in the Armory. I'm kind of looking out for hidden walls too. Ooh, I think this is him. Hello, sir. What's your name? Yes, this is him. What's your job? I am a sailor. Sailor. Oh, I alone survived the shipwreck. Shipwreck? The HMS Cape. Have you heard of her? Can't say as I have. She was a mighty vessel. Hmm. The HMS Cape. Well, now I've heard of her. She was the same response. V E S S E L. All right. Since I, I've already cheated and looked it up, I'm just going to see if saying wheel gets me anything. Because I'm not, usually you can take a word from what he said and find the path to the next thing. And this guy, I guess it's probably why I didn't find out about this earlier because it's, uh, not super duper, um, super duper, uh, obvious what the next step in the dialogue tree is. So let's try wheel. She went down in the deep waters of the bay in the Cape of Heroes. So bay waters deep cape heroes down the bay on the cape of the all right so let's uh let's go look at the map so we've got the Cape of Heroes. Oh, that's... I think the Cape of Heroes is actually... So this is the bay between these two spits of land. So in the deep waters there. So I guess... It's not too big of an area. I guess we're just going to have to search. Okay. 
and see if we can find it. I'm trying to remember how we grabbed the bell. I think it was by searching, but it's been so long, I'm not 100% certain. All right, so let's... I was kind of hoping he'd give us coordinates, but it's not like he'd necessarily know coordinates anyway. So, um, try a couple more coordinates, map, cape. I want to, I want to, before we leave here. She went down in the deep waters of the bay in the Cape of Heroes. Okay. Okay, I think, yeah, I think we know what to do. I think we know what to do there, or at least, I guess we'll see. All right, so let's go find the Lord and or Lady, this guy, Sentry. What are you again? I rule. All right. Word. I know of, I know but one of three syllables. Core. So, okay. So we're getting there. So from Empath Abbey, we had Amo from Serpent Castle from Sentry. We had core, and we haven't been to the Lyceum to ask yet about that, so we need to do that. That's over Moonglow, I believe. All right, good enough. Let's go to the Cape of Heroes and see if we can um, get ourselves a wheel. The Four Cities of Courage. The Four Cities of Courage? So these are the, the cities, the towns. And of course, they're for all of these different virtues, not principles. Although we do have courage as one of the principles down here. But I'm not certain what that means. So I guess I'm going to have to answer him by saying no. Interesting. All right, so I wanna ask him about courage. Okay, I, I wasn't expecting that. That was, that was uh, not something. So I, I updated this and I put down, I added, added this and I put down what the cities are and so I'm curious now if, so that was Serpent Castle. So I'm curious now if we have castles. Truth, love, courage. So this is the place of courage. All right. So I, now I want to go back to, we've already been to the, um, Empath Abbey to get the word, to get the syllable. But I really want to go back and ask about cities. If I ask him and see, and so let's look at this. So Yalom is valor. So I can see how courage is an element of that. Minoc is sacrifice. Again, I can see how courage is, is a uh, element of that. Trinsic, honor, Okay, same thing. Scarbray, which is spirituality. Interesting. You know, it, it feels like, you know, one of these things is not like the other one, and I'm not sure that really fits in there. So I'll be curious. I mean, really, for spirituality, I would expect Scarbray to be here in truth. And true, it does take courage to be truly spiritual, I think, to, to be able to, to do that well. But, um, yeah, that's interesting. That's, that's what makes this game fun is you get little chunks of lore like that, and you're like, well, wait a minute. What does that mean? And so, yeah, I don't know what that means for the overall. You know, because we got, you know, we still got stones and 
you know, the, all that other crap to work out, but I don't know what this means. Oh, I know one thing else I want to ask him. Um, I thought I had something in here. Yeah, I wanted to ask him, I want to ask him about the axiom that they kept talking about in Cove. We do need to get back to Cove because apparently I missed a couple of people. Uh, I have a comment to that effect. I missed a person and a, there's a seahorse apparently you can talk to that I just avoided. So, all right, let's go back to the game. And I want to ask him about the axiom and just, just see. All right, axiom. Not axion, axiom, right? Did I do that right? Spell that right? Blah, 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 blah. Yes. All right, you don't want to think about the axiom. All right, good. All right, interesting. <sighs> Got some information I wasn't expecting and didn't get quite as good of a oh, board. Quite as good of a uh, explanation as far as where this wheel is, but I think we can find it. So let's give it a go here. We got some demons that want to have some fun. All right, I'm not going to worry about negate right now for one um, Balron. If he really starts becoming a problem and like casting, 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 then oh, there's two Balrons. You know what? Sure, why not? I'm going to cast Negate. So now instead of the Ankh, we have the end there. Okay, so we need to get into some positions to do some stabby stabby. And... And Shamino is in the exact wrong spot. I'm going to do a... Oh, I probably used up all of my magic points. Um, uh, because of the the view, not the view spell. Oh, be, the negate spell. All right, let's. That's that's unfortunate. Um, and the only other person that can really cast, I think, here is Shamino. <laughs> you know and uh i want he's got the uh the bow the nice one hit bow all right uh i wonder if i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna just sit out around here and then maybe i'll try to cast a fireball again i'm curious if that eats up one of my prepared potions I didn't look to see how many I had, so I don't know. All right, Shamino, get over there. He can actually shoot. And, well, he can, he can still shoot at somebody there. All right. Thus far, there has been no casting by Balrons. Ah, you missed, Shamino. So, and the, the negate spell is... Still in effect. So that guy's heavily wounded. Probably one more shot for him. Okay, good. That's going to work. Oh, it's not going to work. Darn it. Boy, that uh, negate spell must... That... Oh. You know, now that, now that I think about it, there was one spell I was reading that was talking about how weary the caster would be after it. And I'm guessing maybe that was the negate spell. Uh, come on, Shamino. We are very soon going to get more of these magic bows. Just because I, I find swords so tedious. And I did get a good comment kind of explaining 
Oh, good. That power on's gone. What I need to be thinking about there as far as weapons for the abyss and whatnot. All right. Okay. You're going to stay put. You're going to stay put. You're going to attack. Um. Yeah. There we go. See, then the gate spell's done. Barely wounded. Holy hell. So, okay. Let's see what we can do here. I don't really want to cast my... I think I only made two of those. Or maybe three. So, okay, that guy's fleeing. And we're just down to a couple here. So I'm hopeful that we can just... Or I guess three. Now it's a couple. We can just take them out. I suppose I could be trying another fireball, but... I think if we can try to do it with the magic bow that Shamino has, that would be the best way. Heavily wounded. Oh, that guy came over there. Crap. Critical. That's a good sign. All right, that demon's gone. Oh! Oh, that was Shamino. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right. Oh, Shamino, come on. Stick him, stick him, stick him with your arrow, arrow, arrow. Oh. All right. There we go. Oh. Yeah, this is a problem. So if you look, I've got one cure spell left and I don't have a whole lot of the um, of the reagents that you need to make it. And I need to cure Dupree. All right. Julia's asleep. I didn't realize they had a... They had a um, sleep... I mean, a poison effect all right so what i'm thinking i don't know if i'm in the right spot yet oh god nixies nixies all right and she are anywhere you can do anything you guys can stay put there i think oh no that's shamino at the bow crap Someday I'll truly learn what all my people's shapes are. I'm going to keep you guys in the middle. Because I can get let Shamino roam, if you will. Okay, I'm certainly not wasting any fireballs on these bozos. Yeah, I love these one shots. Except when we miss. Me hates that. All right. All righty. Good job. Good, good job. All right. We're down to one. All right. Um, I think I need to go, whoops, 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 I did not want to go up against land. No, I'm still in the islands. Man, everything just wants a piece of us today. 
All right. Uh, over, 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 over. Stay up. Stay. I'm going to stay up, down, up, down. Stay over. I can't help with the squiddy here because of the mast. All right. But he's came in quite so obligingly to get killed. Which is, you know, mighty, mighty neighborly of them. To at least make it easy on us. Missed. All right. Dare you? Everybody's health to him. We're doing all right. Heavily wounded. All right. Fleeing. I just keep limber there. That one's fleeing. Or so it thinks. It's acting like it's fleeing. This one really isn't. And now he's done fleeing. All right. We're going to go locate. And we're going to take a quick peek at the map. Let's see, navigation map. So we are at where? We are O and G. So L, M, and O and G. So we're almost there. I think we need to follow that deep water that that um, we can see here up into the bay. And what I want to do is start at the top of the bay and work my way down. So let's... Let's get there. Let's find the top. Is that a pirate ship? Yes, it's moving. It also doesn't have a red doesn't have a red uh, flag. All right. No, Shamino's there. I'm not going to worry about the Jinx spell for two of them. Because I think we can kill them fast enough that... Um, kind of waiting for these guys to get where we can kill them. We can get rid of these guys fast enough that we're not really... In oh. Oh, no. Shamino. Oh, Shamino's down there. I thought he was usually in the bow of the ship. They... It changed the order of where he was. That is not cool. All right. I think we're just going to have to melee these guys because I don't have time to get Shamino into anything that looks like a position. So hopefully this guy will do just that. All right, cool. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. Board again. Um... Okay, so we've got another extra ship out here. So I guess that's good. All right, so we are exactly where we want to be. Yeah, so we just need to go, like, do a pattern here. Oh, dear God, come on. And I seem to have lost my game sound for some strange reason. I don't understand that. Um... 
But we're almost done with the this episode anywho, so I think that'll be okay. Come on, go down. I'd like to find a wheel if we could. I imagine it's going to be like... like in the middle of this someplace. The wheel from the HMS Cape. All right. We want to use the wheel. Oh, look, we're up to 99 ship health now. That is a little bit of all right. I like that. I like that. All right, good. Well, success. It's been a successful day. No time to, to dock and um, have a rest. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, come back for the next one. We're going to do some other things. We're going to do a little more sailing. We got more health now. So uh, I think that'll be a good thing. And uh, we've got some uh, other things we need to be doing. We need to get some more reagents because, as I mentioned, we're almost all the basic ones uh, that we need uh, to make, like, cure and health spells and all that. And that's kind of critical. We need to get some more food because we're getting a little low on our food. Uh, and we need to get the last bit of our avatar hood back, and we're going to do that as well. All of that, I think, in about the same general region of the quadrant of the map so and we're pretty close to it so that's what we'll be doing next time thank you so much for joining me for this one i hope you enjoyed it and you come back for the next one and until then be seeing you